long time, almost 20 years now, and one of my most proud accomplishments uh, uh, is represented in this person sitting to the right of me here. And essentially, um, with our production of fences that a number of you, of course, were in, uh, Ron has brought to Court Theater uh, a level of artistry, a level of authenticity, a level of artistic uh, community and connection that I could have only dreamed about when we make that first step. All this motion to me is just, uh, you know, I had an opportunity to understudy the production that it was at the Goodman years ago, uh, where August was rewriting and doing things with the script, and I got an opportunity to, to sit with him and watch him work, and uh, Mary McClinton directed that one, and um, it was just such a joy to, to, to see the development of this play. That's why I think when Steve said Jitney, I was like, yeah, I mean, I had done it before a few times, but I'm older now, and I'm, I think I'm able to understand some of these some of the play a little bit better than just the surface of it, just the, the comedy or whatever. Because it's, it's deep. There's a lot of things going on with these guys that, uh, you know, I, I understand more because I, I go through a lot of it myself. It, it's a special, it's a special uh, moment, a special play, and there's a special thing about doing it here uh, uh, where, I, where I did fences and, you know, and, and kind of got uh, spark into my freelance career. So, uh, which has, you know, been doing pretty well. So it's just, it's always good to come home and to do something with your friends and people that know you and love you and that you love. And this is my 20th uh, August Wilson production as an actor or director. And um, I feel that uh, when, again, going back to when I was understudying and watching August, and he, he, he smoked a lot of cigarettes back there, and he'd be back there, you know, listening. You know, and it would be like listening to Charlie or John Coltrane or Miles Davis or any of those musicians and the pieces like that. The lyricism of it, the music of it, the, uh, the, the, the energy that's happening with that spirit that's in the room. The energy of the play is not just the language, it's also the physicality of it. And I think we have some great physical actors here. Alan Gilmore, one of the, one of the best actors that I know, can bring out some of these things that I'm trying to, to get out in movement, you know, because I want to tell the story in movement as well as words. What I try to separate my productions of August Wilson from other ones is Pittsburgh. I believe, uh, and, and I live in Pittsburgh, and, and uh, if you've worked in Pittsburgh, you know on Sunday or Monday night, everybody has a jersey on. Steal a jersey because those people are so fanatical about their Steelers. So what I try to do is, uh, is, is, is have some Steeler stuff up there. And Jefferson Street, Joe Gillen, during the time of this play, was a big deal. This was the dynasty years. This is when the Steelers were it. And so what, what we're gonna do on this set is we're gonna have, you know, there'll be some pictures, and he was one of the the first black quarterbacks to really do it. And uh, Terry Bradshaw will even admit that Joe Gillian was better than him. But the opportunity presented itself, and Terry, the door opened, and he, he did it. So what I try to do is, like I say, is to have those elements on stage. Like uh, there might be a little picture with Joe Gilliam, like he stopped in the, in the jetty station and he's shaking hands with somebody. <laughs> and believe me, because we're so close, and that, that's the thing that separates this theater from other theaters that I've worked with, and I'm working at you know bigger theaters now and this and that. It's always, that's why I say it's always good to come home because it's so intimate.